so now you can see the application and now if you click on login so we will simply click our email id and now you can see that we are logged in to our account So welcome my friends to this new video and today we will see that how we can add google sign in process means how we can sign in using google account in our android application so let us first open our firebase account and then add a new project here with the added name and simply click on continue if you want to add google analytics you can add it then you need to add a google analytics account so simply create project now now here we are done so now we will open our application so this is your basic application here which is having a main activity only now we will make a new activity here it will be empty activity or any activity or the login activity where we will name it as login and we will make it as the launcher activity and simply click on finish so in the activity login.xml we will simply add a button here and we will simply add the constraint to it so that it looks good now we will simply add text to it login and on clicking this we will have the function which will attempt to login through the google account so now let us see how we can connect firebase to our android studio so it's opening the firebase assistant and let us go to the authentication and authenticate using google sign in if you don't see it here means if you don't see google sign option then simply go to your project and simply go to the authentication get started and simply go to google and enable it and then you can see it there so add a project in here and a email address and simply click save and simply go to authenticate using google and add the firebase dependency and also click on connect to firebase it's launching and now it will connect to the firebase so we will select our project here and then we will get it connected to the firebase so we are getting here connected and now we can simply click on connect and now we are connected now we are done with the connection and also we have added the dependency now we will move on and we will go to our login activity and here we will make some variables and first of all we will make a companion object and we will add a const val const sign is equal to and we can give it uh, any value here and then we will make bullet in it where it will be named as auth and it will be firebase authentication and the second one will be private let in it where and we will add google auth and it will be google 
sign in client and if you don't see any sizes so don't worry now simply click alt plus enter after going in the mid or or simply click on the red bulb here and you can see that add a dependency on the google play services so simply add it and now we, you will be good to go so after that we will initialize our variables here so on application it is equal to firebase authentication dot get instance now we are good to go and we will simply get our login button where login is equal to find view by id and it's clear really type of button and its id is button only and then we will set an on click listener button means login dot set on click listener and we will create a function in google sign in we will simply create a function here so we will create function google sign in so if you are not able to see it so now i have made it bigger so it will be easier for you to see the code here now we have made a sign in function and now we will again go to the file base and we will copy some code from here okay then let us make it now we have a code here which integrate google sign in to your app and simply paste it here so it will and now what we want is a default client id so we will simply go to the project view and under the google services.json you can find our client id so we will simply copy it control c and simply again go to the android view strings and simply paste it here and we will name it as client id now instead of default we will add client id and we will apply it right here google auth now we are good to go and if we go down here then we will find a new function here which will be this we will simply copy it so we will have the use of it later on but we can simply copy it now and now you can see that we have some errors here so we will simply make a string we will make a string and instead of this one we will simply move from login activity to our main activity so for that we will say start activity intent and here we will pass context and the main activity class dot java and we will simply remove it it can get filled so we can simply comment it now or you can simply remove it so now here we need to apply our main function here so let us see that how we can do it so now first of all we can check if uh, the user is logged in or not means already logged in or not or and we can do it by simply making a variable here account which will fetch the last sign in account so google sign in dot get last sign in account so if why did a mistake here so if account is equal to null means currently we are not logged in so we will simply allow it to log in and we will simply pass our main function as well sign in we will make a new variable here sign in intent is equal to 
Google Docs dot get signing in and we will start the activity. or result here and we will pass signing intent and our const value here now we will again make this function here so override awesome. start activity on result so we will add it here on activity result so now what we will do it here that we will simply match our request code with the our constant variable if request code is equal to const val means we are good and we can now log in so we will make a task variable here if you need google sign in dot get sign in account from intent and we will pass here data and now we can do a try and catch here so if we are successful then we will do it else we will get exception here so in the catch we will simply toast the message here toast dot make test we will pass the intent means context and then we will simply print out the issue here and we will complete it and inside the catch we will make a API exception. We are done with the catch, and now inside the task, we will simply create a new variable which will be account equal to task dot get result. We will pass here the API exception class dot Java, and then here we will call out our main activity, which was this one. Firebase authentication which will always require the ID token. We will get the ID token from the account only. We will pass Firebase and we will so I have made a string mistake, so leave it dot ID token. So it says simply create So we can simply make a question mark here for the null check and now you can see that the error is gone. So now we are seeing the error here. So let us see where is it? Which line we are getting this error? So you can see that here it's the line means we have an error here so we are getting error on that line so it says that we need to pass a context so we simply pass this and now there is no error now we can launch our application see so in the main activity we will we'll have a text here so we will get our email id here so we will simply make the same variable here we will simply copy paste it here And let's simply say auth equal to Firebase 
and we will get our text view here so we need to add the id to it so we will say email where text is equal to find view by id text view and we will set the email means text dot set text to auth dot current user dot email and we will get our email id here and we will simply create a null check here by adding a question mark and now we are good to go so before this we need to add our internet permission in the manifest file so we will go to our manifest and we will say users permission internet now we are done with it and also if i tell you then you need a sh1 key so for that you need to get your sh1 key so let's say we are not connected so we will refresh it here Now you can see that you need the SH1 key for the login purpose. So you will simply get it from we'll go to our application and we'll go to this in Gradle and we'll simply write signing report. So don't give any extra space or any spelling error and simply click on enter. And now we will get uh, the ECH1 key, which is this one. Simply copy it and simply paste it here. And now save it. Now we have done everything, and now let us launch our application. We will simply click on run. Mm -hmm. And let us wait. So we are simply running the data file. So we need to launch the app. We wait for a few seconds and we will see that if it works or not. So now you can see the application and now if you click on login so we see some errors here so we will simply click our email id and now you can see that we are logged in to our account so thank you for watching this video i hope you do like it so like the video and if you want you can share it also and if you want you can subscribe to my channel so thank you for watching